welcome back to my channel it's me lasagna with miss dolls and my creations today i come to show you a swap that i was in on um sprout the world that's tamika's group and we were doing a tag flip i mean where's my paper tag flip swap we don't know who our partners are she stopped doing that so the requirements were, we're going to make three. This time, she normally doesn't request one, but this time she wants one. So, we always send her one anyway, but just in case that one person that doesn't normally ship, you know, um, send her one, um, they have to make one this time. So, we did make three. We're going to receive two back. Um, we had to use new, current, trending papers. Um, of course, I use Garden Party. That's my ultimate favorite paper. Um, so what we are to create is um, you are to have one binding ring, one dangle, one trim, you know, trim that hang when you see people doing tag flips, one layered main focal tag, and one usable tag that had to and from on it and a hanging element, one dollarish goodie, and it could be from your stash and then one set of embellishments so this was a super quick easy one I love these so let me show you what I created I have to get me another thing I'm trying to figure out my new setup here I gotta figure out something but anyway this is how my packages will come y'all know I love my wrapping paper isn't this adorable guys I absolutely love the swans and the trim, of course, I got the trim from um, uh, the Crafty Girl on Instagram. Y'all have seen me do my hauls on, on when she creates those trims. I love her trims. Look how thick this snow trim is. I love it. And then, of course, I put some ribbon, some of this um, gold leafing. And then I added one of my teacups I did and one of my resin pieces, a swan. And then I added a couple of dangles here. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Absolutely love it. So that's how they will come shipped. I just have uh, different color swans on there. So there, everything's going to be the same, but some things might alter just like that swan. All right, so got to get Tamika's packed up. This is Tamika's. So, of course, on the front, which I'm going to disconnect so we can look at it thoroughly. We need to have a binding ring. I had these colorful rings that matches my color pattern in my swap, so they have those binder rings. And here is my dangle. I love these clips. Y'all saw me when I hauled these. It's, I think it's been over a year now. But it has the um, lobster claw class. Then it has a ring, and it also has a chain connected. So I was like, that is awesome to be able to combine everything on one thing so of course we had to have a dangle so here is my dangle which is already connected and all these beads I created and I also made some paper beads I haven't done my paper beads in a while and um, I wanted to start using it in my um, garden party so one of these has the garden party collection and look I love the little star that I have the little beads and then these two are just coordinating card stock and it has ridges on it y'all know I use tonic so it has that those ridges on it so these are the two shapes that I did I love the little stars and uh, some of these beads here and I'm thinking no the little star came from that little kid I got with the little horde like a little pony and here is the heart I put some of these super cute charms. Y'all know I got that charm. Happy Crafter. Thank you, Lisa. Uh, this one also is from Lisa Goss. Happy Crafter Shop. Check her shop out. I made these. I love these frosted beads. They're so pretty. Um, another charm from Happy Crafter Shop. Uh, another one, Happy Crafter Shop. And then I added some beads, um, some bells on the bottom. I just thought that little jingle would be so cute. So this is a little mini chunky one. I think this just turned out so super cute. Love, love, love. So that's my dangle. And then for my uh, ribbon, 
I just added it on one of those little clamps that we all have and I added some coordinating trims I just think these are so pretty and I added another little um, dangle here I love this little faceted one um, white on the inside of course happy crafter thank you Lisa girl so that is my dangle and trims so pretty then for my tag flip this is the focal point I made a teapot absolutely love this teapot this is so cute it's very thick y'all know I use like to use a uh, heavyweight cardstock and um, I added some of my scented nouveau drops this one is, I think this is strawberry. The strawberry tart from Nouveau. It's aroma drop. Love that scent. And you can smell it. When you put your nose there, you can smell the strawberries. That is so awesome. I got some of these bows. Um, I think I got this one, this set also from Happy Crafter, Lisa Goss. I love this beautiful bow, uh, butterfly dye. Let me see. Here it is here. I've had this for a long time. I think somebody had given it to me, but I didn't write their name on the back. Is this die here uh, by Momentus? I absolutely love the side view butterfly. You don't normally see that. Um, so that's that, and I've got dimensions on it. And then I use some of Scrap Diva Designs, some of her labels. I got two of them stacked in their own dimension. Let me show y'all that. And her word relax is also scrap diva design. I use uh, tonics mirror paper and then some of, of course, garden party as the layer. Some of my diamond drop dot drills. So pretty. Love, love, love this tag. And then there's the back. And it also has my um, Wonder Woman thing on it. Handmade with Love by Lasagna, Miss Doll's Handmade Creations. So that's the main tag. And then here are the goodies. Let me open this up and take it out one at a time and put them back. So here I created some teacup bag toppers. And um, I love these little gingham bows. I got these from Monte Alley. And some more of the diamond dots. And these are these tiles. I don't know if y'all seen them, but they come from um, Dollar Tree. So I was trying to see if I have a bag open, but I put them all in here. I bought, I think I bought like four, four or five bags. So I just put them all in there. And uh, luckily I was able to find it. So I put sip here and I put one of the little cupcakes, um, what do you call these, puffy stickers. Now what I did was I did seal it and it is double sided of course. And um, so what I did is so that they can reuse the bag it is my um, embellishments are inside in another bag so this right here they can still use for a gift giving so the first thing I did I wonder can y'all see this without me taking it out is the little Koch dies these are my embellishments alright there we go I absolutely love it. I just got it on there with a pop dot. And I did double um, the coach, the um, uh, acetate because I wanted it to be encapsulated. I don't I don't remember I can't sew, guys. And my sewing machine is still, I hadn't even tried to fix it since I told y'all last time. But um, I just did both on both sides, front and back, so to uh, close it up. I absolutely love how I did the cake. Can y'all see that pattern paper on the cake? And that look beautiful like they do in um, when they're doing their fondant and they put that imprint on there. I thought that was so cute. So I put some of my, my the one that I did, Maggie Holmes um, Garden Party Sequence Mix. Remember I told y'all I always have it sitting right here. I just filled it back up. My sequence mix. So I put glue all there and then in different spots and then sprinkled it and then did it uh, I think two or three times so I can get the layer. I thought that was beautiful. Of course, I use these words. I think these came from, I think these are KS Crafts, but these here, I love these. Uh, I think these are KS Crafts words. Wonderful moment, I use this uh, heart 
the big chunky hearts that you get out of the collection for garden party yeah garden party these right here I've been wanting to use those as well and then one of the puffy butterflies of course I double matted the stands and then I offset it a little bit so you can see that gold on parts of it isn't that beautiful guys so I did this is the tall one the tall one and I hope I'm saying it right coach coaches <laughs> so that's one and then um, this is the other embellishment. I'll have to take this one out. Um, uh, this one is the butterfly and it's only connected in the middle. So the wings pop up. So it's a layering piece. So y'all remember that that's the big one on top here. And then I gave a side view a one side view flying. Isn't that cute? So those are two there. I don't want to forget what I, where I put these. Then for the gift, I'm gifting this cute stamp set. I absolutely love this stamp set. The one that really, really I loved most is this little mailbox with the hearts coming out. I think this is just so pretty. Then I, I heart you, got the little envelope. I just love this stamp set. So that is the gift that I'm giving. Then another set of embellishments that I created. This is the same concept, bag topper, um, another polka dot bow. And this is same, I got it from the same place, um, Auntie Alley. And this time I put tea on here and added one of the cute little puffy uh, bees. Now let's look at this set. All right, so this one is the same. So this is the little fatter Kosh. These things take a time boy to make. If y'all ever made some of these because of the layering and all of that, especially with um, that. So this is the little fatter one and it has the macaroons inside. Oh my goodness, the die cutting. And then I added one of um, Cuddle Me Clay Tays, beautiful flowers. Um, I needed to start using my stuff and I was like, girl, stop hoarding it. You need to use it. Share with others. <laughs> So I put one of her beautiful flowers there. Thank you, Tay. Choose do joy and peace. I use one of those. And then this one is a little bitty teeny tiny bow at the top. And it's um, sheer with polka dots. So I thought that was pretty. If y'all can see, I also did the double matting as well. So that it'd be enclosed. Absolutely love that. But they are time consuming. Y'all know when y'all got to add layers to stuff, it takes time. If you're just doing it one time, It'll go by, but you're making it times three. That's what gets it. And then the last thing I said I was going to do. Oh, Lord. I um, I was like, oh, I wanted to add one more thing. So I added these super cute donuts that have sweet on it. And I think this is a KS Crafts die. I can't remember. But um, I hadn't used it. And I was like, you know what? This is a sweet with tea theme so i thought that would be so cute so of course i did the one big one and one small donut heart shape and i added um foam on the word sweet so it pops up give it more dimensions and then if y'all see that swirl that's the icing i put on there i use my glitter remember i told y'all y'all can use glitters y'all know i do my glitter haul every month and uh, i use oracle on this one and I thought that just looks so pretty, like real icing on cookies. So that was cool to do that. I have to make some more of these. I made it only what I needed this time. Sometimes I try to make extra so that when I'm done, you'll have one, you know, one set. And I was like, girl, you are tired. I'm done. So that is that. And then we had to create the... Uh, usable tag with the hanging element so there's my hanging element i might cut this down a little bit i'm gonna put too much on there or oh, leave it like that and she can cut it down if she wants to but i use this die oh, i can't even remember whose die set this is i don't know if this is scrap divas or ks crafts but y'all know this that one that one that you put people been wrapping um yarn around or th uh, not yarn ribbon 
but I love how this one turned out. I popped up this ephemera. This is from the uh, Garden Party Collection. Pop that up, put one in a teeny tiny bowls again from Auntie Alley. I put several of my diamond dots here that are the um, ones that sparkle. Let me see, these are the ones that are the, they're called the original. So DP with sparklers, remember I get mine from there. And then I added um, one of these little sprays, another Cuddle Me Clay Taste flowers. I love the flowers, so pretty. And then I added a butterfly to the top of the flower. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? And I was thinking when I, you know how we get those six by eight pads, this paper right here, I was like, what, what am I gonna use that paper for? When I saw this die, I was like, oh my gosh, let me see if it fit. The inner, the inside die fits so perfectly. I was like, yes, so that speaks volumes. How lovely. The silence of growing things. Amen. I love, love, love. This is so pretty. Then, of course, you had to have a two from. So, I use the letters from the sticker pad. I usually don't even use those letters. You know, when you're crafting, I'm like, eh. I just added glue to make sure that they didn't um, come off. And there's my hanging element. Isn't that beautiful, guys? So pretty. So that is the swap, guys, and that's the original main focal point ticket, uh, ticket, um, tag, and the dangle. Oh my gosh, this was so much fun, Tamika. So much fun, and it wasn't a lot that we had to do, and um, I just loved it. Very pretty. So y'all, let me know what you think, guys. Make sure y'all check out when she does the reveals, so y'all can see all the other wonderful ladies' reveals. I know that's going to be awesome. So y'all let me know what you think, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye-bye.